Your doctor has recommended that your bladder be removed. This surgery is called a cystectomy. In men, complete bladder removal includes removal of the prostate. In women, complete bladder removal typically includes removal of the uterus, ovaries, and part of the vagina as well. To remove the bladder, the surgeon must separate both ureters from the bladder, the tubes that carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. The surgeon will also separate the urethra from the bladder. The urethra carries urine from the bladder out of the body. During the procedure, the lymph nodes may be removed as well. Once the bladder is removed, the surgeon will need to make a new way for passing urine from the kidneys to the outside of your body. This animation shows the two most common ways to pass urine, the ileal conduit and the neobladder. Type 1, the ileal conduit. The ileal conduit is a new tube to carry urine. It is made from a section of your intestine. The conduit runs from the ureters, the tubes that carry urine from your kidneys, to an opening in your belly, called a stoma or a urostoma. Urine is collected in a small bag placed over the stoma. The bag will need to be emptied when it is full. You will be given instructions on how to change the bag. Type 2, the neobladder. A neobladder, or new bladder, is a pouch created from a portion of your intestines to store urine inside your body. The ureters are connected to one end of the neobladder. The urethra connects to the other end just like in your original bladder. You will pass urine through the urethra. Follow-up care is provided by your doctor or a specialist nurse after you leave the hospital. This will include educational lessons on how to cope with the challenges that come with a urinary diversion.